Hello everyone and welcome to Arma 3, a game that I got for one reason and one reason alone because I saw a whole bunch of planes on the Steam Workshop for it and I wanted to try them out. Uh, so I have arrayed as many planes as I could around the airfield here at Wake Island and I am going to try and fly them. Uh, now I'm not expecting a complex flight model or anything, I'm expecting maybe War Thunder Arcade, at least something a little bit better than Ace Combat 7 perhaps. Uh, that's what we're going for here, but uh, the model looks pretty good for this uh, AN2, uh, so that is a positive. So the cockpit here looks pretty good. Oh, this, this, ah, okay, whoa. Um, well, hopefully it doesn't get stuck on the grass or anything. Oh, it might do. Oh, okay. I think there's a taxiway over here, but I suppose we could take off. Hmm. Yeah, my logbook does not re- oh god! Oh, 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 oh! That won't be logged. Uh, yeah, restart. Hmm. Well, this has gone off to a wonderful start already. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful this time about tipping over and everything. I'll just take the beginning of the flight in here. Probably safer that way. Okay, we are off the ground. Well, at least we know they can explode. I suppose it's the runway to... That dusty thing is the runway, but... Okay, we'll try and land there next time, instead of the taxiway. Let's see how fast it can go. Will it be realistic? The rudder, I feel, is more realistic than... War Thunder Arcade, which has a very powerful rudder. It's more muted. We're past 150 miles an hour right now. I haven't looked up the stats for the AN2 yet. But I don't believe it's supposed to go particularly fast. Well, the uh, plane definitely loses speed while we're climbing. I always want to use middle mouse button in order to zoom in, but that's not how we zoom in. This is most of the dials don't work. Some do though. Mostly inoperable. Still, I appreciate the effort. This is pretty good. I mean, considering this is not an airplane game. So about 150 miles an hour right now. I'm sure this is not the best bank angle, but. We're losing uh, altitude as we bank, that makes sense. I'm trying to get used to the camera, the camera is a little bit weird. Oh, uh, we're uh, really losing altitude right now. Okay, actually that's more realistic flight dynamics than I was expecting. I'm over here, I'm way off the map. I need to turn around a lot more. After all, these maps weren't made for airplanes, necessarily. Are we actually turning when I bank? I think it's not turning as much as it should when I bank. I have to do the pull up thing while I turn, in order to make it happen. A lot of arcades, arcade games tend to uh, make that the case. Okay, but yeah, has a good feel to it though, and certainly looks good. I'm throttling down now. Oh, the throttle range is a little bit okay. It's either on or off. Well, I guess if it's increased thrust, I uh, know I should set it to thrust analog. 
it's still only using part of the range, interestingly. But I'll take it. I don't think there's elevator trim on this, so... Now, obviously, to get through all the planes, it's got to take a few videos. I don't know what the wheel brakes key is, so let's hope it stops properly on all its own. Or flaps. Uh, probably will need to check that for other planes. Rudder is more powerful than it uh, normally would be, but still better than most arcade games. Okay, I really need to lose this extra five meters. <laughs> okay, I think I touched down there. Okay, it's slowing down well enough. Okay. Let's taxi. Now I just dumped all the mod packs in and I don't know which one, which plane comes from which. I just installed like all that I could find on the Steam Workshop. If I missed one, please do tell me. Uh, but you'll have to wait until I finish all the planes. Okay, coming into parking and um, I'll certainly be able to tell which planes I've done because they'll be facing backwards and engine off. Okay. And, uh. Oh, flaps down is on this menu. Okay, I want to get out. And I'm in third person and I'm still holding my gun, which is like, I guess, standard Arma 3 pose. Okay, so this is uh, L159 Alka. Okay, uh, I, I want to be in the cockpit right now. Okay, so engine... Oh, oh, not inventory. Shoot. Engine on. There were some not real aircraft, so I excluded them. I tried to make sure that all the aircraft I picked were actual aircraft. This looks like a trainer, but the back seat seems to have been covered up. Okay, here we go. Top it looks good in general. Okay, we are climbing. Let's uh, take it outside, gear up. Very nice. Very nice looking, actually. Okay, let's see how well we can turn. It's an interesting camera, third person camera view. I wonder if there's an assortment of options here. Loses velocity well when we're turning. I don't know if there's a separate key for afterburners. I'm assuming that this is just a trainer. We're past 400 miles an hour. We're probably not going to get too much more than 500. Let's see about altitude. Well, I mean, it loses speed very quickly on a direct climb like this. Oh, camera. Getting back into the cockpit. 
shudders due to g-forces. Very good. I think that there's this haziness that occurs when you get too high in Arma, I think. Or, or, or that's just this map. I don't think that's worthwhile to go too high. I'm sure it can get pretty high. The altimeter numbers don't work, but the needle seems to do stuff. Hey, why don't we take a look at the airplanes I have parked out? I wonder if there's limited fuel. Well, I mean, it says there's a fuel thing there. Okay, let's slow down a bit so that we can take a look at things. Uh, I don't think that's the best view, but you can sort of see them over there. It's there. And... I thought I had a few more around. Oh, uh, you, you can see some over here. Lots of little guys there. I'm gonna skip most of the biplanes, I hope you don't mind. We'll take a look at them from the outside. Really, I've seen worse interiors in X-Plane. Um, though, of course, the dials would still work there. I just want to briefly see if there's a key for flaps other than going into the context menu. Uh, right control K for down, right control L for up. Left control mouse wheel down. Yeah, it says flap skier down. Let's take a look outside. Yeah, that's fine. Back inside. I'm a little bit off from the runway. That's zero power on the engine. Oh, it's got a sort of HUD thing going. It's got a nice HUD thing. Uh, I feel like I'm going too fast. I'm off to the side. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if there are brakes, but it doesn't seem like I need to apply them. Okay, uh, left control up, flaps are up. I have crashed a plane by turning it on the ground too much, so let's be careful here. I'm uh, not that careful. It's tough to get the throttle right for taxiing sometimes. At some point I've got to figure out how to fire weapons on these things, huh? The next plane seems awful, an awful lot like this. Okay. Eject. No, uh, no, not inventory. I keep doing that. Okay, get out. All right. So which one is this? Uh, it's the L39C Albatross. You know what, I'll, I'll keep this for another time. Uh, wow, okay, yes. MiG-29S, yes. Oh, I clipped in there. Um, let's get into the cockpit. Okay, this is looking very nice. Master safe. Hmm. Very nice. I wonder if the dials work. They look like it.
Oh, audio chatter too. Okay, let's go. Nice sound. Yeah, I think the, the dials are in Russian too. And it's looking good so far, RPM and everything. Uh, one thing that's not looking so good is why are we only going 140 kilometers per hour? Uh, maybe it's the master safe thing? What? Why? I'm, we're sort of going off to the side here. If I do full right rudder, it increases velocity? I'm not sure. Whoa! Now we're going faster. Maybe we have brakes on. I think we have brakes on. Gear up. That would be one good reason why we were limited to a certain speed while we were on the ground. Ooh, shuddering. Yeah, this is really nice. I mean, I, I don't think it's, uh, well, I don't know, it's a pretty good MiG-29 cockpit. It's not a fully realistic one, but geez. I like the little Wake Island thing there. GPS. I need to figure out how to fire weapons, though. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, this might not be the best angle to see whether it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh, next weapon. Very good. Whoa, that is... Okay, that's probably more the camera than the plane. Alright, let's get back to the airfield. I feel like we're going way off. Well, we've exceeded 500 miles an hour. wonder if there is an air brake option here. But we're losing speed so fast, maybe I don't need it. Okay, flaps down, hopefully. Oh, let's left control. Flaps down, gear down. Oh, there's the sound. Nope, descent. Ah, I'm off. I'm certainly playing it, Arcady. But there's not a whole lot of map to line up with the runway with. So there is that. Slows down fine. M much faster than I'd think, actually. But, okay. Very nice. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, get out. Uh, clipping through things. All right. Next up, looks like a frog foot. Inside, please. Yeah, this this one looks good too. Oops. Is that wait? Is there a chicken there? Ah. Uh, I think there's a there's some kind of bird, or no? Is it a rabbit? I think it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Okay. There are rabbits in this game. We've picked up the audio again. Yeah, 
Yeah, this must be made by the same modder, because it seems like the same level of detail. And of course, another Russian plane. But it shouldn't go as fast as the other one. Now what about the brakes, huh? Hmm. Let's see if there are brakes. No, there's a speed brake analog. There's a speed brake X. I'll try and tr see if there... Oh, those are those, though. And you have to hold it down. Okay, well then that wasn't what it was. Let's get some flaps. Okay, we're off the ground. Gear up. Flaps up. It certainly feels heftier than the MiG. We'll see how fast it goes. Not accelerating the same way either. Okay, guns are nominal. Okay, next weapon. Oh, those are the bombs. Okay, next. I think these are the rockets. Yep. Ooh. Rapid fire capable. But that's all of them. Oh, except for the other pods. We have the other pods. And that's the air-to-air -air infrared missiles. Okie dokie. We're going up to basically what seems to be the maximum speed in this game. About 500 miles an hour. As far as I can tell. All the dials are working. I like that I have a body. That's nice too. I'm looking at the compass there. Well, that's north. Uh, the problem is the runway heading is not what it says it is. Uh, you saw the 22 on the on the runway indicating its heading. It's not at 22. So, yeah. Plane nominal, airfield not so much. So this has a tough time accelerating, but it ends up at the same speed as the MiG-29. Um, I don't hear our landing gear this time. Okay, it is out. X was the speed brakes, but I don't think I need them. Yep, it slows down just fine on its own. Whoa, to a standstill. That's one weird thing about these. Their brakes are way powerful. We got a long way back taxiing, jeez. I should clear the runway technically, but whatever, I own the place. I don't know what the biggest map is. That would be good. It'd be better to use these on the largest possible map. Somebody knows that, tell me. I downloaded a few maps that looked big. I decided that this would be the best place for an air show though. Uh, let's go a little bit further forward. Alright, there we go. Alright, getting out. Oh, this time it doesn't zoom me in awkwardly. That's nice. That's much better. Now, this is an interesting plane. 
This is an interesting looking plane, isn't it? Um, can we get in though? Oh, uh, 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 from the nose? Or how? I don't know. Uh, push aircraft. No, that's not what I want. Airco DH2. Oh, that's, that's a top. Oh, okay. <laughs> See that as the menu thing. Okay, as pilot. This is how the pilot looks. Interesting. Real tight in here. Okay. Hey, if it works, it works. The dials look like they might actually work too. Okay. Engine on. Oh, that's the sound. I mean, it does have the engine behind in the back, so we don't have the propeller in the way. This is a heck of a plane. I think I've seen this for uh, Rise of Flight, which I should do a video of as well. Wow, that propeller looks like it would chop those struts on the side, but okay. I wonder if I can take off and land within the confines of the runway. This seems like the plane to do it in. Oh, we hit a bump. There is a bump there. I didn't notice the bump there before because the other planes weren't quite so... whatever you want to call this plane. Nope. Bump. Guns work. Okay. I'm just gonna do a quickie with this. Let's see. Take off and land within the confines of the runway. Oh god, it's very bumpy. Well, I'm already off the ground at 60 miles an hour. Rotary engine, really nice. I like that. This is a nice plane though, you know? Okay, let's try and get back down. Ooh, it's uh, getting to a standstill here. Let's try and get some... Oh, yeah, I can't hold the camera adjusted view. Ooh. I don't even know if there's wind in Arma 3. Getting to the actual end of the runway is going to take forever, to be honest. Uh... Let's let's actually loop back because I don't want to spend all day taxiing. We're now having trouble getting to like ninety kilometers per hour. Its ability to yaw is quite spectacular. The rudder power is... I mean, but then... I mean, I don't know if that's reasonable or not. But it's got serious rudder. Okay, now we're picking up speed. But it's got a red line at like 150, it shows on the dial. We're not at 100 miles an hour right now, though. Okay, shut off the engine. I don't know what the touchdown speed for this ought to be. Do we have enough runway left? Come on, go down, go down, go down. Okay, we've touched the ground. Oh, it's not slowing down. Abort, abort.
Oh, oh no, that's bad. Whoa! I think we might have touched down right there. Maybe we should just go into the parking space. Okay, I like this taxiway right here. It's fine. It's a heck of a sound. I don't think you'd want to fly this for any length of time. We sort of bounced, so that's sort of realistic. The whole bouncing thing. That's... That's the thing that happens. So that's good. Okay, but we definitely ought to be on the ground now. We need, like, most of our engine power just to taxi. Oh, watch out for bumps. Definitely a change of pace, this. I feel really exposed in this, though. This doesn't seem like the best plan. I'm gonna skip some of these biplanes for now. I, I see a plane with potential problem. It is another biplane, but... Its landing gear isn't extended. So we should take a look at that. Okay. And engine off. Get out. Now oh, that was smooth enough. So we got a few other biplanes here. Well, what's with this flying boat? I guess I should have put it in the water, huh? Hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Um, Felix Stowe F2B as pilot. Um, I'm not too sure this is going to work. Let me press gear. I don't think it has landing gear. Will it still work, though? This is that rabbit. The other, that other plane over there is rocking back and forth. Is it too close to the plane next to it or something? No, it's just sort of rocking back and forth for some reason. Anxious to go. All right, let's see. Engine on. I wonder if you would actually eject from a plane like this. Okay, let's see if it can take off despite no landing gear. Okay. Well, I mean, you'd figure it'd have to be able to overcome the friction of the surface of the water and everything. I mean, I'm assuming it's a flying boat. <laughs> it has a hull that looks like it, so. Look at that wingspan, jeez. And we're off. Okay, uh, inside. Oh, we're sitting on the right. Same dials as the other plane. At least they work. Classic. I bet you didn't think that Arma 3 would be the best place to fly biplanes. It's probably not the best place, but... Um, when planes in Arma 3, well, they're all gonna be jet fighters. Nope. Mostly biplanes. So far. But when you think about it, given the size of the maps, it's not unreasonable. We don't appear to have any weapons at all. Oh no, we have bombs. I've dropped one. Into probably the water. I wonder... I mean, I don't care about this part. Oh, it definitely exploded. 
Uh, this part of Wake Island I don't care so much about, so let's see. Are you destructible? Oh, facilities? Aw, oh, I didn't really get it onto anywhere. Oh, okay, okay, good. Well, we got explosions, but we didn't actually destroy that thing. Any more? No, it doesn't seem like it. Two bombs is all we get. Not quite at 100 miles an hour right now. We could probably get to 100. But that's about as good as it's going to get. That's a hundred, but it's falling. And if we pull up too much, it slows down really fast. The flight envelope for this is a little bit tight. Well, I guess we don't have to use landing gear again here either. I don't want to land in the water even though it's appropriate for it, because it might be... Well, I guess I could swim. I mean, let's get it closer to our parking spots and maybe try and land it in the water, huh? Alright, I'll try and get down over on the back side of the island here. How will we stop? I mean, will we stop abruptly or will it take forever? Don't know that either. I don't even know the landing speed for this. We're gonna see. Uh, oh! I think I've done a bad thing. Well, I think with that end, I'll, I'll just uh, preview some of the other planes we will attempt to fly in this. I bet you if I had touched down on the runway it would have been fine. No problems at all. This is this rocking plane. Uh, SE-5A. That one I actually have a model of in uh, Flight Sim 10 FSX. I'm not gonna fly all- why is there another AN-2? Oh, there's a Harrier. There's a C-17, right? Not a plane I commonly fly in Flight Sims. I don't even know if I have one anywhere. Obviously the DC-3. Oh, the C-47, sorry. Which one is this? The O-228. Oh yeah, I think I've flown that one. The F-14, obviously. Magnificent. The F-15. F-16. F-22. F-35, F-18F, I suppose, and then there's a Falcon 7X, maybe? Falcon 50. More Harrier, and then we've got some World War II planes over here. Japanese ones. Lots of them. So many that I had to put them in double ranks. That'll complicate the parking at the end, but I probably won't fly all of them. I forget which biplane this is. Uh, B534. B534. So then the German World War II planes. I uh, spot one with a problem there. The peripheral vision some, uh, occasionally goes a little bit foggy. Now this little guy is not going to be able to... These these guys aren't going to be able to get off the ground very easily, are they? BA-349. Rocket planes. Ah, and unconventional... Planes. Always good. Flying wing, ME-262. I'm not naming all of them. We'll, we'll get to them. I thought I had a B-2 somewhere. A-10. C-130. I think... 
Maybe there's the YF-23, I don't know. Did I mistake that other flying wing for a B2? I, I thought I had a B2 somewhere. And then uh, the trainer, and then this little fellow. Which one is this? O3A. I think the trainer is a toucan, right? I flew one of these in X-Plane. Super Tucano. Okay. All right, so that's what I have. Now, if you know of a plane that I'm missing here that is available for Arma 3, please do tell me uh, what the mod name is so that I can pick that up. So we have a more complete collection here at Wake Island. But with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.